Hello, my name is Andrew Godsall. Um, I've been doing some YouTube videos recently, um, and I did one, I did one a couple of weeks ago about some records I found at a record fair recently, which got some positive feedback. So I thought I'd try something else, a bit similar today. Um, I'd look at some of my vinyl Beatles records. Um, but most of the, almost everything the Beatles have done, um, she knows. Uh, <laughs> if you've seen these videos before, you'll know they're they're unscripted. And I just sort of sit down for five minutes and chat away. Um, so I'll say I'm too much. I'm trying to get out of that. The the first Beatles record I bought. So I was saying I got what I'm trying to say was I got nearly everything the Beatles did. Some of it on CD, some of it on vinyl, and some of it on both formats. Now uh, the first Beatles record I ever bought. And I think it was in 1979, was this one. It's called A Collection of Beatles Oldies. It was released in 1960. Oh, back a bit there. It was released in 1966. It was sort of like a greatest hits at the time. 16 songs, basically, um, all of their big hits up to that time. Um, it got deleted a few years later because it got replaced by various other compilations. The, the the red and the blue album obviously um followed on so i'll leave that one there for the moment um right next one to look at with the beatles quite a nice black and white picture on the um the front cover this was their second album from 1963 um a lot of it was cover versions there's some good stuff on there um, one thing to note, which I spotted recently, is I've got a mono copy because this I bought this in the late eighties. You know, there's mono on the front cover. Um, the standard by then was a stereo version. I don't think you can get the mono version anymore, at least not. I don't think it's in print. So, but please, I've got that. Oh, and looking on to the next one, what's another mono one? This is Hard Day's Night. Um, 1964, that's a good year, year I was born, obviously, um, it's based, the album's based around the film, the side one is the, the songs from the film, and side two is some other stuff, um, the actual song of Hard Day's Night has always been one of my favourite Beatles songs, and, um, great film as well, so, that's, that's that one, now the next one is... Um, help! I'm trying to actually read as I hold up the, the camera. Look, whether it says it's mono or stereo, I can't see from here. Let's turn it over and see what it says. Yeah, I was reading it back to front. Yeah, I thought it said parlophone, and it says EMI, and it says help. Oh, it says it wrong. I can see it now. Oh, probably it's not showing up there on the screen. It says up there it's stereo, but not very clear letters. Um, I can't remember what I remember. Bit of an odd one, this one. There's no wordage on the spine, and from memory, this is a Dutch copy. Yes, well, it says made in Holland. I should say made in the Netherlands, really, shouldn't it? Um, yes, yeah, so anyway, again, it's same, same form as before. Side one is the, the songs from the film, and side two is some other songs that they did at the same time. Um, again, help one of my favourite Beatles songs, and that's really, really good. Um, no, I'm not not be pile of records over there. Right, next one, 1965 again. Rubber Soul. Oops, not doing, oh, I'm not doing that instead of me. <laughs> there we go. Anyway, Rubber Soul. Um, probably one of the best Beatles albums. Um, some great songs on here. Drive My Car, Norwegian Wood, Nowhere Man, Michelle. In my life, um, great song from George Harrison. Also, a um, couple of great songs from George Harrison. Think for yourself. And if I needed someone, slightly sport this record. I was thought was by um, the final song, which ends on a bit of a sour note. Run for your life, John Lennon's song, or rather, well, if you know it, you know it. It's rather jaundiced version of a relationship. Um, not the great. Uh, apparently, they just knocked it off on the last day or something to fill up the numbers. I think probably be better if they left the song off. But probably shouldn't really focusing on that because it's a great album. 
now the next one and the last one I'm going to talk about today is the last one came out a few months before this record that I looked at to really start this video is Revolver from 1966. Now this has long been my favourite Beatles album and this one is well there's 14 songs um it's brilliant um it's an amazing amazing variety of songwriting there's, there's so many different sort of styles but in a way it's still got some sort of it's got a sonic unity it sounds especially the up-tempo numbers the, the drums and the guitar are brilliant i've waxed lyrical on on my blog and also on an amazon review about revolver so um if i get technical i might even find a link and put it there um when i put the, put the video on it's um well, what can you say about Revolver? I just, I just think it's, it's the greatest Beatles album. One, one great thing about it is no two songs can successively have the same lead vocalist. It's great, so you jump in between Paul, John, George, Ringo. It's got Ringo's Yellow Submarine on there. Paul's Ellen and Rigby, which is well, I'd say it's definitely in the top five Beatles songs. Um, I'm Only Sleeping by John is um, one of the lesser known songs, but I think it's brilliant. Um, also, I love She Said, She Said by John. Um, George Does Three Songs, I Want to Tell You, is one of the, one of the um, un underrated Beatles songs. It's a great finish with John's Tomorrow Never Knows, which is a really sort of psychedelic experimental piece that sounded nothing like. Well, I don't think the Beatles are done or anybody else had really done before it. Um, it's just it's just a great record. I love the the see there's the cover, this sort of like collage of, of Beatles faces on the back. There's quite a nice stark black and white picture of the Beatles. Um, I should think most of you know this record. If you don't, go and check it out. It is amazing. My copy is from the mid 1980s. I don't know. Perhaps I should get a digitally remastered one at some point. But anyway, it's it's a great lesson. I've probably gone a bit longer than I planned to. Um, hope people find this interesting, and I may come back another day with another Beatles video. Okay, thanks for watching, and I'll say good night. Bye bye. Oops, I'm